hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're you, and we are here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for, ah, happy hands, claw hands, jazz hands, the crazy hands. I'm so excited, you guys. We are going to do a, an unboxing and a breakdown, like review situation of Raven Diamond Art. Mm -hmm. Yes, this, this, sorry, I sound mad. This is like me happy <laughs> and sick. I'm sorry. Still feeling under the weather. Uh, bear with me. But yeah, no, yeah. Um, Super excitement. I have been waiting for this. Uh, this is a new to me diamond art company, but I believe they've been around about a year. So they are still a newer business. They're a smaller business. Um, how did I miss this? I don't know. I uh, happened to be, you know, streaming and, and playing a game and in the middle of matches, uh, of course I died, you know, so, um, like a big boob and I'm on my phone, just ticky talky, ticky talky. And I saw this really cool, um, eye catching fun TikTok about, you know, it was a woman, she had her hand full of like diamond painting. She was like sneaking them into the house and what is this? And I, Watch the whole thing, and it was Raven Diamond Art. So I'm like, I must investigate further. And I'm looking into the TikToks. I go to the website. You guys, all horror. And not the frou-frou horror. We're talking like legit horror diamond paintings. I'm in love. And these, the images I saw on TikTok and on their website, the, the canvases they offer are not... Like the same ones we keep seeing at different companies over and over and just redone in different sizes. These are so unique and original. So I immediately got hyped. A, I was hyped by all horror diamond painting company. Mm, we need this in the diamond painting sphere. Um, but also it was hyped by the immersion. Um, I was struck by the immersion of just their vibe, their videos, their, the way the owner talks in her videos and what she says and like the behind the scenes, um, all of it is very immersive. So I reached out and I emailed, uh, the owner and I did have a brief email exchange. And even in her email communications, the owner stuck true to herself, very authentic and original and, you know, human obviously, but just still very passionate about horror, about diamond painting, about quality, about customer service, and still like even her emails and the way she talks has, you know, that vibe of horror and just super thematic and I'm here for it. I love it. So I ordered some and I've been ill. So when they came yesterday, fortunately, like I knew they were here, but I was just Honestly, guys, I was dragging ass. I'm screaming at the phone. I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but, you know, I I couldn't get to filming yesterday, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I have literally uh, <laughs> all of the hauls, which I will do my best. Matter of fact, um, I will do my best to keep them you know, I won't be up in the microphone going nom, nom, nom on the halls, but, uh, I got to get through this, right? So yeah, um, I am here. Sorry. I'm unwrapping my halls. <laughs> I am here to talk to you guys about Raven Diamond Art. I've been hinting at them, not hitting, hinting, hinting, sorry, it's not gotten the way. I have been hinting at this company in my last couple of videos, if you've been watching, I've got it on my community tab. I had a little hint. If you haven't taken a look at my community tab, pause the video here. If you don't want spoilers, I put like a little story time riddle on my community tab. You'll see these diamond paintings laid out in a picture and stuff. And, um, I broke down in like a little riddle to see if you could figure out what diamond painting, at least generally, what diamond paintings I got to show off. So, wow, that was a lot. Let's, let's get into the unboxing. Now, disclaimer first though, I am super excited about this company. I'm super excited about everything that I've seen, um, TikToks from 
the company themselves, TikToks from uh, people who have done completions and how they've turned out and stuff like that. I haven't seen them get much love on you. Love? You guys. <laughs> My sinuses. Ugh. Love on YouTube, which is a shame. So let's do that. Let's me and you and all of us together. Whatever. Come together and um, show them some love and support and give them some exposure on YouTube. Um, I have not... I don't really know much beyond the research I did. Okay. I know I said we we're going to get into this, but I have disclaimers. One is, yes, I'm very excited, but I don't, I've never seen one of these in, in my grubby little hands. And so we are going to critically go over everything. Um, because while everything looks really cool on TikTok and stuff, it could be a different story in person. So we're going to we're going to nitpick because uh, that's what I do. Um, and we're going to pick these canvases apart and see what, the, you know, is it is it as exciting as I think it is? Uh, or is it, you know, not? I I think I know, but um, we'll see, you know. We're going to devil's advocate the shit out of this because that's what I do. But um, also, being a newer company, um, they are currently... Their current stock, it's my understanding, check their website or TikTok to be sure, but it's my understanding their current stock, as of the time of the recording of this video, January something, 3rd, uh, 2024, and prior, is resin, no, yes, is resin diamonds, or diamond drills, and they are switching over to a high-grade acrylic. I don't care uh, about, you know, resin versus acrylic. It's all um, diamond diamond drills to me. As long as they come um, sparkly and shiny, I do not care. So uh, if you want to talk amongst yourself in the comments on that debate, go for it. I won't be participating. I don't really care as long as they stick on the canvas and they shine pretty. I don't care what they're made of. It's my opinion. Um, in any of it, they currently only carry rounds, but they are endeavoring in this year, hopefully in this coming year to, um, start incorporating square, which will be really cool. But currently they do only have rounds. I saw sizes. I got a variety of sizes. I, you'd have to check their website to see if they offer any other sizes, but I think I got one of every size we've got. 30 by 40 we've got um 40 by 60 right 40 by 50 so we got 30 by 40 40 by 50 and 50 hello 50 by 60 yeah uh i believe those are the three sizes that they currently offer i could be wrong there could be more i have the memory of a gnat i you know, don't even remember my own name sometimes. So, um, yeah, uh, they have all horror. It's all horror diamond, um, painting canvases. They're unique, original artwork from what I can tell. They're images I haven't seen anywhere else, um, which was also very exciting. So I think, I think that's about all I have. Oh, also, they release new canvases every Friday. I believe it's 10 a.m. CST. Again, I'm telling you this stuff, but I could be totally wrong and full of you know what. So obviously go to the source. Check their site. Check their TikTok to get confirmation of what I'm telling you or correction from what I'm telling you. Um, but I believe they said it was 10 a.m. CST every Friday. They'd release new canvases. And they are taking the month of January off so that they can switch their drills over to the acrylic, high-grade acrylic. So there won't be new releases every Friday this month of January 2024. But then moving forward, I believe their intent is to resume that. Um, they also do a situation where here are releases, and I think they maybe manufacture 
I don't know the right terms, guys. They have a certain amount. They order, you know, make or whatever, a certain amount. And once those are sold out, that's it. They're sold out. So FOMO is real, friends. Um, get them while you can. Uh, yeah, I think that's like all the important stuff. I'm sorry if I got anything wrong. Like I said, please double check. Be like a teacher. Double check my work and go check the original source, which is um, Raven Diamond Art. Okay. Uh, owner, super cool. Make super cool videos. Super cool. They're blowing up on TikTok. But I can't find much of anything on YouTube on on um, Raven Diamond Art. So let's let's get some YouTube love going. And with that, let's hop in. Ready? Okay, guys. So bear with me. I gotta sit down. Okay, I've been <laughs> I've been on my feet too long, and I need to sit down. Um, we have seven diamond paintings to look at, review. Um, just, I'm just going to do like an initial first impression. We're going to take a look at everything in depth and in detail on each of these canvases. We're going to look at the canvas, the drill field, the, um, legend, the symbols, how clear are they? What comes in these kits? We're going to look at all that and just get like a first impression. When I'm done filming this video, I will film a kit up of one of these diamond paintings and we'll work on it together over time. So you can see it come together and see, okay, well, great. We saw the canvas and we saw the drills, but how does it turn out? How does the art artwork render with drills, etc.? cetera? Um, you'll see it all. So we'll start with the small and go bigger, I guess. Um, this is the first one. The first thing I noticed, you guys, about the these this diamond painting company, when I tell you immersive, I mean immersive. Look at the box. They've got blood dripping down all sides. The blood is coming. They got their logo here. Creepy little um, raven. You know, creepy background. Loving the, the font on here. I mean, some some dark roses down here. The, it's so immersive. Even down to the packaging it comes in. This is a solid, sturdy, you know, box. On the side, this art is to die for. Seems to be like maybe their slogan. Um, you know, and, and it gives you a hint at what's what they're about and what is to come. Um, on the back, you have a idiot. Now, I'm calling, I'm saying this, not them. So if they don't agree with me, that's okay. Because uh, this is my opinion. Idiot's Guide to Diamond Painting. So if you're a new diamond painter... You get a step-by-step walkthrough right here on the box, so you know, you know. Um, and again, their slogan. You guys, it's beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's also the boxes throughout have iridescence to it, like an iridescent shine that just reflects throughout the whole box. It's really good, amazing to visual box, and the quality of the box is good as well. Now I won't go through this with every box because you know every box is gonna be the same, but this first one I you know I want you to be able to see. The box comes taped in the sticker. I saw in a TikTok video the owner says she loves her stickers. And the sticker says warning at the top and then it says opening this package will cause extreme happiness. Guys, of course it will uh horror and diamond painting. Hello I'm I'm already happy and I haven't even opened the box. <laughs> Um, I did cut them though for ease. And then, uh, this one says, thank you for shopping small. And it's a creepy, you know, and then that might be too close. Sorry if it is, but there's their, um, company emblem there. Um, yeah, this is the box and then, oh, you might want to see the other end, the box. It tells you. It's a, it's a, oh wow, I'm like out of frame. I'm sorry. Hmm. Fun times. <laughs> Let me try that again. So yeah, the, um, it has the, the thumbnail of the image inside. It tells you it's round. It has their serial number that they use and the size 30 by 40 and the name of it. This one is called Feeling Crafty. And I'm just going to like redo this for you here just in case you missed everything that I was showing you because 
I couldn't get the camera right. <laughs> Cause I had to sit down. But there you go. Alright, are you guys ready to break into this? Sorry, I know that hole's in my mouth. It's probably pretty annoying. Are you ready to break into this? I am so ready. Okay, let's see if Mushy can keep in frame this time. <laughs> I sit down and I forget where my framing is at. Let's unbox this. I am ready. I am ready. Are you ready? Let's see. So you already saw the thumbnail. The Craft is one of my favorite movies, and I haven't seen a single other diamond painting from anywhere that has been The Craft themed. So when I saw this, I was like, must, must have, you guys. Here, here it is. Let's see if we can do do the magic rolly rolly now um and my initial impressions this canvas is uh one of these you know but it's not the cheap it's not like that cheap nasty like plastic type of thing it is a harder canvas that it, it's not the brushed felt or whatever that frou-frou stuff is um it is just a canvas but it is it is thick it is sturdy so that's a plus. Um, that didn't help at all. Did I do it the wrong way? Am I a baddie boo-boo? <laughs> Hi, novice, do novice diamond painter here. <laughs> <Does, laughs> Roller canvases. You guys, uh, like I said, please excuse the, the wonderful quality of this video. I want to do it justice, but my God, I am so under the weather that <laughs> I think my brain cells have been defeated but yeah here it is let's see you can get most of it in frame here it does say at the top this art is to die for there's that slogan again it does have a thumbnail with the serial number and the thumbnail what it should look like when it's done and they love us because they did one is a one two is a two three is a three four is a four and so on and then we start at nine with a and we go down and then we do have some symbology down here at the tongue barbell and we got the little pac-man and then we got the radioactive waste symbols down here but yeah we do have symbols um take a look at the canvas up close um, does look like there will be some color blocking uh, but they do add some situations in here to highlight so you can get um, some definition in her hair um, some people refer to these you see how like every letter is like a circle around it I believe some people refer to these as like dummy squares training wheels etc uh, some people like them some people don't I don't care I like them. I'm the diamonds stick to them just as well as anything else. So, uh, any anything to help guide me where I need to go. Uh, from what I can see here, the symbols seem all pretty clear and easy to read, even in this darker area. So this is going to be one that's going to have definite um, definite color blocking in her hair and her face. But it also seems like there is a decent amount of confetti throughout here for confetti lovers. So that's nice. And if you guys don't recognize her, shame, shame on you. Um, <laughs> if you don't, go back and watch the original craft movie and find out who this is. This is the protagonist, right? No, the antagonist. <sighs> Not the hero. She's the villain. The antagonist in the movie. Um, a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and I like it. I'm here for it. So let's see. We do have um, the cover sheet. Covers the whole thing. And down here at the bottom, it says waterproof. Um, this is not the canvas's fault. This is my eyes uh, have so much snot in behind them that they can't see without watering. <laughs> um, waterproof anti-fade. Non-ironing. So this is a type of canvas that... Well, you saw I rolled it out pretty good. Doesn't need ironing and is uh, green. So I'm assuming recyclable or friendly materials, recycled, something green friendly. I'm not an expert in it. So um, you know, fill in the blanks if, if you are and you want to. 
in the comments below. But yeah, waterproof. How nice is that? Anti-fade, non-ironing, and green. Nice. I mean, this is qual this that says quality to me. Uh so yeah, now we're gonna oh what else do we get in here before well I kind of want to dig into like I'll show you everything else too. Um I I wanna Hey, we got a nice film. It's not that thin, um, you know that thin like shreds. The ah, my Christmas uh, killer series where I was complaining about the cover sheet um, slivering off. This one, this is a thicker. It's not so thick that you can't like bend it. It has some pliability, but it is thicker. Um, seems to be good quality. I mean, I don't even need to like. There are no air bubbles in this you know, that I can tell that I even need to really to straighten out the sheet. I just kind of wanted to, uh, I do what I want cause I want. Um, but I do want to see, let's check out the tack factor. Here comes my finger. Yeah, you guys significant tack on here. Very nice. And it didn't feel slippy. You know how it's like some feel like oily. This did not feel oily. It doesn't, I, I feel like if I'm going to put a drill down, oh, that drill is going to stay there. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to just like swim <laughs> all over the painting. Let's see what else comes in the kit. That paper. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's more than that. So let's un unroll here. We've got our inventory sheet, we get some drills, we have this fun baggie, and this fun baggie, okay, I want to see it all. Um, this looks like our inventory sheet, the logo, this art is to die for, um, the serial number and the size, 30 by 40, a bigger picture of the thumbnail, it is perforated, uh, on, not perforated like in like the paper's not cut, but it's perforated for you to be able to cut to put this in a log book if you'd like. There is, again, instructions in case you missed it on the box. That's handy. And then they have the color list, the number, and it's um, associated symbol, and then the DMC numbers. Love to see DMC numbers. That is something I didn't mention right now. They're just, they have just, you know, the, the, normal drills, the DMC drills. I don't believe that they currently are working on like sparkle or AB or pixie fairy glowy, whatever. It's just going to be your standard drills. And that's fine with me because I personally like to make my own enhancements. I don't always like the enhancements chosen for me uh, in a lot of cases, as we've seen with my purge mini. But um, yeah, these are nice, big, and clear, but small enough still to be able to put on jars, but big enough to see. You guys, this is nice. So, um, th this is not stickers. This is a, a piece of paper, but you can cut this. I just, I just kitted up another, um, I think it was Purge Mini where I had to, I had a paper inventory like this and I just cut and double-sided taped and, and made my own, um, sticker or you know like labels for my jars so you could do that with this that's nice very nice and it's on watermarked paper it's got the the uh, dark roses in the background I like that and then we got some packets here let's start with the handy dandy packet and there's a sticker it says handmade with love and brains and it is zombie hands how cute is that? That's really awesome. Um, well, let's see what we get in here. All right, I'm just gonna dump and dump and look. All right, so we have our standard diamond painting pen. It's got a a squish a doodle here. We can save our fingers from getting like owie finger nubbins. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what their medical name is, but owie finger nubbins. You guys, I am not an expert at getting these on. I always have to have somebody else do it for me, but I promise you this goes on here and it is not the pen's fault or the squishy's fault. It's all me. <laughs> I am, I am unable to do these. I don't think I've successfully ever put a squishy on a diamond painting pen on my own. I got it halfway. Does that count? Okay. Um, 
we do have murder tweezers which are my personal favorite um, these are the quality ones these are not those chintzy bendable ones this is nice good quality black murder tweezers we get two uh, heart waxes here these are thick like you can see you don't really see through them this is the thick um, in my opinion better quality wax than those translucent like see-through wax pads you get two of them which should be more than enough to do this diamond painting you get my personal favorite of like the if you generic boats if you will the standard kind of um, boats that come with kits of those generic boats these are my favorite I love the long pour spout it has significant ridges in here um, you know and it's small enough to you know when you work on a 30 by 40 you don't really need a big boat anyway and so um, I use these sometimes as much as I use the ones I buy from shops <laughs> um, and then it, we get a multi-placer and this looks pretty thin. It's a plastic multi-placer, but it's not like one of those big honky donky thick ones that mess everything up. This is a thinner one. Fits really snug in that pen. Looks like probably a um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to guess this is a four placer. Hey, you know, how about, yeah, this is a four placer. So, Wow. Very nice, very nice. And then a little a little kit to keep it all in. Yeah, where is it? Can I even, okay, there. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I don't know if I can get it off. Um, so yeah, this is what it appears, the standard tool kit that comes with a Raven Diamond Art diamond painting will include everything you need to do this diamond painting and more i mean you don't need the squishy you know but you're getting it you don't need the multi-placer but you're getting it you probably don't even need a second wax but you get it and arguably you don't need tweezers but you get them so i mean yeah you got everything you need to get started right there whether you're a beginner or not um and then there's this extra pouch and let me tell you I hope the camera's picking it up this is a fun pouch like it's got spider webs and a spider and it's all rainbowy this is a fun a fun pouch let me see what's in in said fun pouch and I don't know why but I like to collect these pouches I don't do anything with them but look at them <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't. I I have never seen one like this before. So guess what? I'm definitely collecting that one. So it looks like we got a couple of stickers. And you guys, I love stickers. And I like I said, and the owner mentioned in a TikTok that she also loves stickers. So um, thank you for loving stickers because that means they're in your kits. And I love stickers too. So um, definitely on theme, on point, on brand. Would love to see that. And then. This is one of those straw caps, so you, you slide this ring down on your straw, and then um, when you're drinking something, you can put this nubbin over your straw and keep it protected from other people's germs and mouth and, I don't know, dirt, dust, bugs. Um, and it says Basic Witch. You know, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, forgive me if I don't, if I have this wrong, but I think... Oh, it's a poison apple. Look, you guys. Let me see. Oh, I got to keep standing up. Look at this poison apple. I might as well bring this up here to you guys, too, so you can see. How cute. Um, This is a rubbery poison apple, and it's got this ring thing on the back. Uh, I might be dumb. Uh, I might not, because it's kind of a squishy ring. I don't know. You can maybe put this on your diamond painting pen. It comes in the kit. Uh, my daughter suggested that you might be able to put this in a crock if you wear crocs and plug it into the crocs. You know, I'm not very artsy fartsy, but I might try to make this into a cover minder, y'all. I might just, you know, remove this and put a one of those little super high powered baby magnets on there because I love this and I would love this as a cover minder. I hope you don't mind Ra Raven Diamond Art. I might make these cover minders. <laughs> Um, 
And then here's their business card and it says, do not fear your creative side. So very nice. And then here's their information on the back. Pause and QR code if you need to, if you want to. It says, thank you for shopping with us. We hope you enjoy your gift. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms as well. Our handle is at Raven Diamond Art. And we got a little TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube symbol. So any of those social media platforms, you should be able to find them. And I will link them in, in the description down below as well, obviously. And we'll give them credit where credit is due. And now um, let's look at the drills. I'm sorry, you guys don't hate me. <laughs> I am a kind of a neat freak, so I gotta... I got, if you're seeing this, I forgot to edit it out. <laughs> so I'll just giggle my way through it. Yeah. My OCD working its charms here. No, you know what? I want to keep the stickers. Yeah, well, she just edit this out. Nobody wants to see this hubba baloo. This giggle hopping nonsense. But I do want to keep like this in here. I don't want to lose these. Uh, you know, that would be a good hauls pouch. I need, <laughs> I need something to carry around my freaking metric shit ton of hauls that I find myself needing recently. And then their business card. I'm going to put this over here for a little, little. Okay. The diamonds. Crinkles incoming. I'm sorry. So it looks like our drills are in individual Ziploc baggies. Very, very nice. They are labeled number 2823. Okay, so it has the number as it corresponds. So 20, which is symbol N, it's DMC 823. So they do have these labeled on here. Um, we'll take a look at some of these colors. There's the red, that bright red. I am excited. How many colors did I say? Was it 34 colors? Now, if you're looking, hold on a second. If you look at the image, you're kind of looking at this and you're thinking like one, two, three, four, five basic colors, maybe a couple extras. No, you guys, there are 34 colors in here. This is going to blend so well. You get so many colors like that. It's either going to blend really well or it's going to look like a 8-bit pixel thing. And from what I've seen on TikTok of other people having some finishes under their belt, uh, they, this is going to come out like psh, a work of art. Um, well, because it's diamond art. But you know what I mean. It's not going to come out like junk. Um, here's the drills. They're nice. I'm not seeing any dust, any oil, anything mysterious or goobery in here. I don't really see any trash. I mean, you're going to find trash in any drills, but, um, you know, I'm not seeing anything jump out at me. Everything looks clean and clear, and look at that. It's catching the light nice and shiny. Yeah, so let's look at our colors. We'll, we won't do this for probably all of them because, you know, I can't make it all day. <laughs> filming this one video I won't survive it but um, we can bust out some some of the colors on here so we can see like what's the what we got gray blue no uh, dark blue like navy there's some some uh, olive green gray light gray dark gray red blood red bright red maroon red some aqua blue some um, almost opalescent pink, some rose, medium blue, light blue, deep, dark, sketchy, purple red, like that's, that's some, some spell cast in red, purple there. And our beloved, oh, this is not 310, this is 939. Oh, you got me. I thought I was going to say our beloved 310. You guys, this is the 310, this. I would much rather have this be the amount of 310 and have another yeah this is like a black blue I see blue in there this is like a dark blue give me all that all day I'm so tired of 310 We've got lots of that so that must be her hair um and some more blue 
some just really nice color. Man, these are shiny. Impressive. Some lilac. More like a lilac lavender type of situation. And a dark like chocolate black brown. Oh, there's more. I was going to say, look, there's this, guys. There are so many more more colors. We got uh, maybe an off-white. 3865, that's, that's white, right? I'm still memorizing the colors. There's like a turquoise -y. This has like an almost hint of mint in there. Like I, I, I feel like I detect a hint of yellow or green. That's probably just my sinus infection. <laughs> God, sorry. Uh, light blue, medium blue, blue gray, and a purple gray. You guys, I mean, y y looking at this canvas, I mean, you can kind of, okay, I see like blue pop here, bl you know, black or dark blue, white, you know, the red. You see the obvious, but some of these colors, you're like, I did not foresee that. I did not foresee that. I did not foresee that. Where is this? How is this going to blend in together? What is it going to create? What is this going to look like together? That is like what's going through my brain right now. And um, spoiler, after we film this unboxing, I am likely going to, not likely, I'm definitely, I don't know who we're kidding, whether it's before or after a nap, we, we shall see, but um. I am going to kit one of these up and get to work. I'm busting out the Elizabeth Wards, y'all. Uh, yeah, um, I feel, especially after having unboxed one of these and seeing the, seeing it in person, uh, I'm getting jazzed. I'm getting super jazzed. I was already jazzed just on the theme alone and the premise and the fact that they're a horror-based company and that's like my love language. I am jazzed now after seeing the quality ignore what happened here this is a crime that i committed against this um drill holder situation that was all my fault okay so there she is um she may be our first work i've got to know like i've got to know because this just looks like a lot of color blocking and i'm just like i need some definition in here and i'm looking at the thumbnail and i'm seeing i've got to see this live and in person because i mean this looks kind of if I'm being honest and I don't mean to be mean but it looks kind of scary you kind of look at it and you're like oh it's gonna be red black and white uh. but I'm looking at the thumbnail and I'm seeing the colors and I've got to see this this might be this might be the first one we do and that way I can bust it out relatively quick for you guys and you can within a couple days I hope see depending on on how I'm feeling and how fast I can work and if I can you know, actually see, oh, you know what I just did. Okay, well, we're going to leave that aside anyway. i put that right. Wow, the box even screeches like a raven. <laughs> no, that was me. I did that. <laughs> Fingernail. Sorry. But yeah, that was our first one. So that kind of took a little while. Well, we can kind of speed through the rest of them. So I'm going to grab the other 30 by 40 that I have. You've already seen the box, you guys. Um, this you see this? This was Sundown's fault. This is not the company's fault. <laughs> um, this one's called Stay Silent. It's a round size 30 by 40. And there's the serial number. Again, with the warning, opening this package. There. Opening this package causes extreme happiness. I would bet so. I'm excited. If you guys don't know who this is, um, come check us out on Twitch at Mushmillow79 or at RG Sundown TTV. Uh, we play Dead by Daylight lately because I've been sick. We haven't gotten to play every night, but most uh, most of the time we play every night. Sometimes together, sometimes as a family, sometimes alone. But um, this is a killer in Dead by Daylight uh, that we try to survive against. Or if I'm feeling frisky, I'll play him as a killer. Uh, he's also from the game Silent Hill, which is a hugely popular video game in the horror genre. For years, there's multiple. There's like Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, 4, 90. I don't know, but a uh, very popular uh, horror game. And so this this diamond painting is very on par. Uh, right up my alley. 
I see this guy at least sometimes once a night in Dead by Daylight. So the box was the same. We already went over the box. I'm going to um, not re-re-re-review the box. And then we got the, the packet. Let me, let me roll this out. Now these are, they come rolled in the boxes. Um, they're loosely rolled too, so uh, which lends to they're not getting creases in here or bubbles. Like I'm not seeing any, you know, if you order from like Timu and stuff, um, you see uh, they get all bent up and creased up and bubbled up. Uh, that, that's not going to happen here with these boxes. And in all honesty, I should have put this in the beginning and I might voice clip it in. But this, to me, so far from what I've seen on their site, what I'm seeing in person, seems to be what I would call a mid-tier company. For it being newer and in its infancy as a business within like this first year or so, um, the quality seems to be here so far, just based on that one painting. We'll see about the rest. I mean, they're going to get bigger. We're going to see what's up. But so far, my first impressions is that this is seems to be a, a pretty decent quality company with decent quality materials. Um, I would not call this, you know, an AliExpress, a Timu, anything like that budget friendly in that way, in materials way. But the pricing, I probably should have mentioned it. Um, but the pricing, their 35 by 40s are, uh, if I remember correctly, like between 30 and $40. They're, you know, I, I don't think I saw a diamond painting that was more expensive than maybe 60 I could be wrong. I didn't see everything. I don't have all the eyes. But um, you guys, their diamond painting is not as expensive as some premium companies, but is not as cheap as budget. It's in between. and the, But the quality seems to be closer to the premium side of things than the budget. So you're really getting your money's worth here. I feel like so far I've gotten my money's worth. It just, I'm not one painting alone. This one's looking pretty good too. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to throw that in there cause I, I think I forgot to mention like prices and stuff. Cause again, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I just being under the weather, my brain isn't fully functional. But um, this is another 30 by 40. And you know what we forgot to do on the last one? Um, that I'm going to do on this one. I want to know, I can already tell by looking, but just for proof's sake, evidence if you will, um, the drill field size. Is that 30 by 40 drill field? Yes. Look at that 30 on the dot. The actual canvas size is 35. So they are honest. You know, it's like they heard a lot of diamond painters complaints about diamond, you know, diamond paintings and com other companies in general, like, um, you know, these canvases wrinkle. Well, no, these won't. Um, there's bubbles and rivers. Well, no, there's not by just, oh, yeah, just at 40 right there. Yep. So the canvas itself is 45, 35 by 45 is the canvas as a whole drill field. They put the true drill field size in their description. You guys, how many times have you gotten a diamond painting that says, Oh, this is a 30 by 40 and it comes a 20 by 30. And then the, the, the edges are like that big. And they're like, what well, we said, uh, yeah, you, you know, you know, that's happened. Um, it looks like we have the same sort of legend. A one is a one, a two is a two. And then we switch over to at number nine to alpha numeric. And then we do have symbols down here. This is a 38 color piece. Um, and it looks like the tongue barbell, the Pac-Man, the hazardous material warning situation, um, percentage, I don't know. What are we going to call this? Well, this is a little triangle in a triangle. We're going to call this pyramid head because it kind of looks like his head. <laughs> um, a pill and a check mark. Yeah. So not, you know, I'm sorry if my head got in there. I was looking. Um, not Symbols are not too hard to decipher. Uh, looking at the drill field again, uh, I'm not seeing any problems. Every one of these symbols is distinct. It's, um, nothing's fuzzy. I don't see anything fuzzy. I don't see anything that I'm going to interpret as being hard to read. Um, 
or hard to see. I'll be interested in seeing how these look with the light board behind them, but it looks like all the symbols and letters and numbers and fun stuff are all dark. So they should not disappear in the light. Hallelujah. Right on. So I was having a problem with that too. Y'all y'all know I had like white letters and numbers on a light background. You turn on that light board and it looks like a blank, a blank space. And you're like, what am I supposed to put here? I don't think I'm gonna have to grab my phone flashlight for this one. Um, here's, here's our inventory sheet. Oh, I, did I, I actually grabbed the other packet. It only came with one. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so there's, there it is again, their, their slogan, their logo. Uh, here's what the finished product should look like. And the instructions and your inventory sheet. You guys, um, uh, let me bring this up to you so you can see if I can keep it unrolled there. This is what that, what that is going to turn into that. Yes. I mean, look at that. I can see it, but there's still a little mystery because it's, you know, with the symbols and their background colors, it's not as clear, you know, until you get the, the beads on. Oh, he's ripped. You guys, he's ripped. That's kind of hot. Hope Sundown doesn't hear me because that's kind of hot. <laughs> he's ripped like that. Sundown, why aren't you ripped like this guy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like he's got some mummies in the background. Exciting. I don't think um, Sundown was maybe excited about that, but I am. Huh? Ripped like what guy? <laughs> like Pyramid Head from Dead by Daylight. Well, Silent Hill, but he's in Dead by Daylight. Look at this. Look at He's like got the pecs and he's got like some yeah, you six know, pack. Yeah, you know the difference between him and me? The six pack? No, I was, the pecs? I was made of spare parts. Spare parts? Well, you do have a lot of metal in you. You, know, you are right, a then. little Terminator-esque. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, but still, this guy's pretty ripped. Pretty ripped. I'd be jealous if I were you. Yeah, but back in my drinking days, I had a 24-pack. A 24-pack. <laughs> True story. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was sundown, everybody. <laughs> So let's see if there's a um, variety. I mean, there's a variety in sticker. It says, snap a pic and leave a review. Give me a hand. I love review and brains because it's a zombie with a um, you know, camera. So it looks like a similar setup here to the kit. We'll just open one more. And if I see anything like different jump out at me in any of the other ones, I'll let you know. We got our two hearts. We got our my favorite generic boat. Uh, and I'm not being facetious. I mean, I literally love these boats. I have them stashed all over the house because I use them more often than not diamond painting. We got our squishy to protect our little finger nubbins and we got our murder tweezers, which um, I use those all the time too for all kinds of things. Um, I cannot confirm nor deny whether murdering is one of them. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't murder anybody with tweezers. I swear, if that comes up on the news and you guys see Arkansas woman murders someone with, quote, murder tweezers, it wasn't me. Um, <laughs> let me put my, uh, or was it? We'll never know. Um, I'm going to assume that the tack is the same. The paper feels the same. Um, we can check the tack if, if there's anybody super finicky about, yeah, sticky. I mean, surprise! <laughs> the canvas is sticky, surprise! <laughs> and then we got our cool little iridescent pouch. <gasps> oh, this pouch has something different in it, you guys. Hey, hey! I Winner, winner, chicken dinner! You guys, you guys, you guys! And of course, like I said, immersion on theme. I have not seen anything come out of these boxes that has not been on on theme, on brand for this company, for horror theme at all. This is a bone diamond painting pen. A bone diamond painting pen. What, what? <laughs> you guys, um, we've just picked our, oh, that feels good in the hand too. It's kind of like, you know, 
catches my, my knuckle nubbins good. I like the tip. You can see all up in there. You better be careful, though. It looks hollow, so I'm a little nervous about losing some, you know, like, wax in there. Sorry, I'm looking I'm looking into the depths of the hole. I mean, I don't know if I can catch it just right. Oh, there we go. It's, like, really hollow all the way down up in there. I don't care. Um, so, uh, I will use this. I like this. I like it a lot. Yay. <laughs> That's a win. I'm setting this aside. We're going to use that with our, when we work up one of these diamond paintings, you guys watch. Absolutely. And then we got the business card. Again, same thing. And then some more horror stickers. A zombie. And that looks like the clown from American Horror Story to me. Yeah, that's a realistic look. Oh, I'm going to be decorating the heck out of some Elizabeth Ward. You want. And then we've got the individual baggy wrapped drills. Um, I don't think we really need to take them out. Out. We did the first one, you know, we've seen a round drill, but I will definitely let you see like the color scheme. Look at that. Some browns, maroons, grays, yellow, orange, red, peach, blue. This is going to be a colorful, man, you guys. How many colors? 38 colors. This is amazing. Oh, and the it, the packet itself does have the serial number. So if you need to store your drills separate, you know which canvas it goes to because it matches the canvas. That is nice, you guys. That's another contender for, oh, no. I don't know. Now I don't know which one I, I don't know which one I want to do to start. Oh, I'm going to do them all. Don't get me wrong. Don't, man. yeah, I'm going to be doing them all. But I don't know which one I want to kit up first. Like, now I'm, I, because I like the uniqueness. You don't see Silent Hill diamond paintings. You just don't. Like, who has them? Raven Diamond Art does. Like, who else? Nobody. You don't see the craft. Like, I am excited to work on all these because they're ones I've never seen in any iteration before. So, all right. Now we're moving on to the next biggest size. Can I squeeze it under the camera? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, if you read my little um, hint thing, the crafty part was the first one, the craft. Um, and then the second one, or I was talking about climbing up a silent hill. That was the silent hill reference. And this is the guy from the butcher family in Texas that taught me how to use a chainsaw. Um, yeah, this is a 40 by 50. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. I, if I'm being honest, I wanted to start with this one. Um, but I'm like, I realize that it's going to take me a bit longer to, if I start with this one than it will to do one of the smaller ones. And I want to finish one up and show you guys, you know, what, what it's about. I'm going to open this up sideways because of space constraints, you guys, uh, on my, in my frame here. But look, look at that. Let me make sure my ring light's not being a bag of you know what's but look at that so it does look you know you, you, you know you might see this and look at some of these areas of shading and shadowing and be like I'm a little concerned this is not color blocking I see different symbols in here there is gradient there is shade there's definition in what appears to be color blocking it it, it really isn't there's a mixture of symbols and letters in here this is going to gradiate nicely just judging on the symbology here let me turn the light back around I just got a good look at mr leatherface or as some of us in dvd call him bubba here's his inventory sheet he's a 40 by 50 serial number is there and this is what he should look like when he's done if you want a closer up look there you go. This is getting long. I better move it along. It's alphanumeric again with some symbology at the bottom. This one has 40 colors. Looks like we got a little like Jack Skellington face as one of the symbols. A star. They're uniform. Um, there's the Pac-Man, the bar, the tongue barbell, the, the 
toxic material, the percent, the triangle on a triangle, aka pyramid head, pill, check mark, um, Jack Skellington and Star. So yeah, it, they use the same symbols as they go down the list. So that continuity, in my opinion, can't be bad. You know, if you're gonna work on several of their diamond paintings, because I mean, I've had some where I'll work on a particular company's diamond painting, and they'll pull out the next canvas. And when you start getting into the symbols and stuff, it's like number 30 is not the same symbol as the number 30 on the previous one. And it's like, oh, I'm confused. I still have the other one in my brain. Um, looks like the two waxes and the pen and the multi-place are like before. Handmade with brains and love. This time we got a black squishy. And the murder tweezers. And my favorite generic boat. I mean, with a pour spout to boot, you got a long pour spout, too. That's invaluable. I don't care who you are. And then we've got our little goodie bag. A different one this time. This one's orange and black. Hall Halloween-y. halloween -y. Um, What do we have here? Another straw keeper. And look, it's it's on point with the, with the diamond painting. That is Leatherface protecting your straw. You guys... <laughs> I love it. And then we've got a Halloween, uh, potentially a croc thing that is uh, going to get turned by me into a cover minder. Hope that's okay because that's what's happening. And then um, a leather face sticker and another spooky, you know, horror theme sticker. Man, they didn't drop the ball anywhere so far that I can tell you guys. There have been no balls dropping. Wait, you know, I know what that, <laughs> I know what that sounded like, but you know what I meant. They have not dropped a ball yet, as far as I can tell. Now, we won't really know the muster of the company until we work one of these up and like get in here and actually lay some drills and see how they place and how they look and how the rendering and, and how the blending is and all that stuff. But so far, I, I'm trying to look for something bad. <laughs> I want to say something. I like constructive criticism here, but I have nothing so far. What about you guys? Um, are you seeing anything, you know, bugabooey? I'm, cause I'm not. Um, and we got the browns, oranges, reds, greens, you know, stuff that you expect to see with a, a guy who's wearing a, 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 pe a people suit, <laughs> a people face. So yeah, you guys, oh my gosh, excitement. Um, I, I confession, I initially, um, when I placed my order, I was torn between like, am I going to start with the craft or start with leather? I don't, I want to start with them all. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I can't, I would put a poll up and let you guys decide which ones we see first, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I love you guys. Each and every one of you. Those of you I know. Those of you I don't. Those of you who are new. Those of you who are not. Those of you who are just passing through wondering what the heck is going on here. Um, I love you too. But I can't wait for you. <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick one. And this is another 40 by 50. I'm going to scooch it. Scooch it under the camera. So you can... Uh, Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> There's the guy from, I think it's called The Black Phone. Is that the name of that um, movie? And there's the name of it. Disconnected. Um, was that creepy or what? Can you imagine? You should pause it there and have somebody walk in the room and say, what is this happening on our TV? Watch. Like, like what is going on? And this <laughs> that image pop up all big on the TV. That's something I would do. Hello? Oh. I pulled out the guts. I forgot the skin. Okay. So, set the kit aside. Oh, hey, our little bonus pack. That's really nice. We get the basics that we need, and they give us extras. How thoughtful is that? Is the light in the way? I hope not, you guys. Can you see this okay without the reflection? And again, this is another one of those ones that you're like, I see one, two, three, four, four colors like eh, no you guys this one is 40 colors 
there is some blending and shading and um, rendering going on in here. This is, oh, this is creepy. This one's, look at this gap in, you know, the gaps in his teeth is black. Lit. Oh my gosh. You guys, what do you think? Yeah. Let's see what the um, paper, here's his inventory sheet. This is what he's going to look like when he's done. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And see, you can see some of the detail on here that you might not be able to detect with your eyes on the actual canvas because of the symbols and the background colors and stuff. I am just beyond excited to see. Sorry, I'm showing you guys some of the symbols in case you're curious. I'm beyond excited to see how this is going to turn out. Like, I want to work one of these so bad because I... I'm not finding a, a problem yet. Any flaws. I don't... I'm not really finding anything to complain about. Uh, or to pick at. Or to... You know? Um, oh, this one has round instead of hearts. But that appears to be the only difference. Again, so the sticker with encouragement to share the love. Which I encourage you to do. Um... If you like what you're seeing, if you're going to order, you know, give a shout out on TikTok here, you know, in the comments, I'll pass it along. Uh, I don't know the owner, but I, I'm happy to like send her an email, a screenshot, holler at her at, on TikTok. Hello. Um, you know, and let her know, hey, you know, my community is psyched. This is a pretty red um, spider bag. So we got the red and the rainbow and the orange business card. Same deal. We have another straw keeper. Looks like a skeleton playing a record, like a DJ. That's cool. And then um, another. Oh, see, do you guys, like I said, I feel like, because it's squishy, I feel like you could put this on one of those diamond painting pins if you wanted to, but I think it's a croc plug, but I'm going to make it into a cover minder, because how cool is that? I love that. I love that. Little black candles. Love. That's like doing special things to me, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm, 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 I'm jazzed. Oh, we got Jason. Oh, let me some classic horror, guys. Oh, a plague doctor. Seems to have gotten a hold of this woman. Frankenstein. Got some old school. Love. Oh, Ghostface. What's your favorite scary movie? He's on a VHS tape. Very nice. And Pennywise. <laughs> I am, oh, I am, am I going to have more fun diamond painting or stickering my diamond drill container? <laughs> I don't know, both. But, um, yeah, it's been a while since we opened one of these packages. We won't go through, ah, everything, like, super in-depth, but let me just grab some out for you to, to, like, see out of the cellophane here. I'm not, I've been looking for trash. I'm looking for trash. I'm looking for pitting. I'm looking for oddball shapes. I'm not seeing any of that. All I see is perfectly uniform in size drills that are shiny. I'm not seeing any trash. I'm not seeing any muck, dirt, grime, oil, nothing. Yeah, you guys, look at these colors. You have eyes. I'm not going to read all the colors off to you, but, uh, I mean, look at this. Oh, that's, that's kind of a pretty one right there. Oh, like aqua turquoise situation. I don't know. Color. <laughs> but yeah, those are some of the colors that are going to be in this, in that one. And this was the black phone, right? Yeah. So could you, you look at it and you think, oh, there's only five colors, boo. But if it's, it's all in the symbology and stuff in there and the, in the gradient, they're going to gradiate, um, and create like, look, did you see that in there? No, that was not one of the, you know, primary colors that jumped out at me. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to learn how to color and shade and blend and all from doing these diamond paintings because these colors all got to kind of bleed together to create a coherent picture 
right? Or they got to like get sneezed on the canvas and look like total crud. But like I said, have I done one of these before um, from this company? No, I haven't. Am I, you know, some kind of like Dr. Mushy Diamond Painter MD? No, but I have been diamond painting a while. I do like to think that I can at least m more often than not detect BS diamond painting from quality. And I'm detecting quality here. Um, but like I said, you never really know until you work one through. You know, this could look great on... It's like what they say, it looks great on paper, but bad in practice or something like that. Um, but from... I've seen other people on TikTok show off their finishes, review these this company and these products, and nothing bad. So I don't expect that mine are going to be any different. Oh, this is another one that I was contemplating doing first. I'm going to do them all first. <laughs> Look at this. Candy man, you guys. Candy man. Candy man. This is a um they named this the man the man with the candy is the name of this one. It's a 40 by 50 round, but like you don't see the candy man movie diamond paintings. I challenge you, I dare you, where have you seen that? When have you never this company? They have just the most unique selection and that's what caught me y'all we can get horror diamond paintings pretty much anywhere right but that's what caught me was i i keep i've never seen a craft one before a silent hill um candy man this was another one i was considering doing too because of skin tone this is an actual human man in this one and so like i'm interested in seeing how the skin tone is going to render out on this because we want to do skin tone justice, right? Um, and on here, admittedly, because it's kind of like cross stitch where you look at your fresh out of the box, new undone cross stitch and you're like, oh my God, what is this rainbow vomit that I see? This is never going to turn out. Ugh. And you might look at it and see something of that nature. Like, okay, well I see, you know, these four or five, like but but once you start getting your drills down and the colors blend together, your the image is gonna come alive. So, um, now I I mean this might look a little dicey to you. You might be like, oh, this is a red face on a black man. Uh, oh hell no. But it's just the the base canvas. That's not what it's gonna look like when you put the drills on, right? So, um, I'm you know I want to see what this looks like done. Oh my gosh, look at that thumbnail image you guys and the honeycomb in the background and stuff and all the hands reaching it looks like hand. no maybe it's not hands for some reason I feel like this looks like hands reaching maybe am I crazy but you know you can see his bloody stump hook and uh oh I'm excited about this one too this one is 38 colors they use the same symbology as the others and here's the drills you know looking at skin tone options in here just remember I mean there's a lot of honey in there a lot of lightness and honey for the background so I'd be interested in seeing how the skin tone rendered because we want our people to look like people you know yeah you guys you guys shoot another one I want to do first how many I can there can only be one first oh so torn so torn do I see anything new different in here nope we've got wax we've got multi-placer there is a purple pin this time in here which is pretty cool and a purple boat with the long stem so they do provide some variety in these base kits which is nice. You don't want to get the same same exact base kit if there's an opportunity to provide variety. You know, it's nice to get. Let's see what we got in here. Got our orange pouch. We've got an old school vampire. And then we got Chucky from Child's Play. <laughs> Yay! Another DVD killer. That's so cool. Um... And these are crock plugs confirmed by my daughter. See, that doesn't have the squishy loop in the back. It has like the, 
the toggle pog thing. Um, looks like a some kind of jar of body part eyeball jar situation. And a little skeleton on a book with a candle. You guys also, I don't wear Crocs, so like also going to make these into um, cover minders if I can ever find the time and make myself creative enough. But boy, they're getting put aside for that purpose. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Uh, so yeah, there was our candy man. What do we think, you guys? I know this is a long video. This is a longer video. There's only two more to go. So we've seen 30 by 40. And then we've seen the 40 by 50. Am I being dumb with numbers? Yeah, 40 by 50. So we've seen 30 by 40 and 40 by 50. So now let's get out and see a big mamma jamma. Oh, you know what I just did? Be right back. Okay, so when I pre-cut the box, um, I open or I lifted the box the wrong way, and the diamonds hit the floor. I'm sorry, I had to pick them up. But this is the next one. This is a 60 by 50, and it's called "Put a Ring on It." That's the girl from the ring. Creepy. Wait, hello, finger. Here, creepy, contorted, sketchy. Um. It's also a killer in Dead by Daylight, which is one of the reasons that I picked her because um, I like to play this killer sometimes. Um, hate going against her. She's she's a bia bia, but um, <laughs> I definitely like playing um, playing her. This has forty four colors, you guys. Forty four colors. So there's going to be some blending and shading. I am super excited to see this one come through. As you can see. Can you see the legend? Yeah. You might be able to see from the legend over here. And I'll show it to you on here. A um, lot of blue. This is going to be lots of variation of blue. I mean, look at this. Grays and blues, you guys. This is going to be some really, you know, subtle shading and blending. I, I am here for it. I am so here for it. Um... So yeah, this is the inventory sheet and the table, your little cutout for your logbook, the information, um, and instructions if you need them. Guys, you guys, you guys, uh, another purple pin with a purple boat and a blue squishy, ink and murder tweezers, and a multi-placer. That's so generous. Like, could have could have just gone with a basic kit. A pen, a wax, a little green boat, but no, I mean, they went steps beyond that, you know, and for a new company just starting out, that's got to be scary and costly, and uh, I mean, I appreciate it, I, I do, I like to see, they believe in themselves, that, this says to me, I believe in myself so much that I'm going to spend some extra money in some places for the experience and the quality Yet yeah, this might look like a sticker. You guys, this is an iron-on patch. Oh, this is getting put on something. This is getting put on something. This is a really cool iron-on patch. This would look cool on a beanie, maybe. Something, a black beanie? I don't know. Ideas? Anybody? Where would you put this iron-on patch? It's really thick. It's a really good, thick quality patch. Where would you put this? I'm thinking beanie, but you tell me, because I'm not creative. I don't know. Um, we've got a Jason sticker, his hatchet, and a spear javelin thing that he's used, his machete. So various weapons. He's got a chain around his neck. Loving that. A voodoo doll with a nail through it. Loving that. Total vibes right there. Oh, a cute Jason. He chasing somebody. He going to get him. Oh, there's blood on his machete. He already got him. Loving that. And horror lover. Yes. Me. Yes. I tell you what, whoever packaged this up, it's like they read my mind. Do, you, do I know you? Do, do we know each other? Because <laughs> you, you pegged me. I know it wasn't intentional. It's probably all random and stuff, but you pegged me. I must just be a, you know, random basic 
<laughs> basic you know what but <laughs> that's okay i'll take it because i'm loving everything that's come in these kits so far um look at this drill packet ah the blues you guys all the blues dark blue light blue medium blue aqua blue ice blue periwinkle blue purple blue gray blue navy blue blue diddy blue <laughs> ink pen blue oh white there's some white there it is Yay, surprise <laughs> but yeah oh this one's I. there is something about every one of these that i am dying to like see how it turns out i'm dying to see how candy man turns out with his skin tone because he's the actual you know i think the only actual human you know um but i like the uniqueness of the craft uh, well, she's a human too, but she had a white pasty face, you know, so we know how her face, her face is going to be white because that's what she, you know, how it was in the movie. She like used white pan, what do they call that? Cake makeup or pancake, pan stick, white out. She used white out as her daily makeup, y'all, you know, she did, um, and the red lips, but like, uh, I, I want to see like how she turns out because that's one of my favorite movies from when I was a little bit younger not too young I mean I am old ish I guess um and then here's the last one called the cellar it's an evil dead and oh how creepy is that face <laughs> how creepy right there um this evil dead I'm gonna look at the canvas but if that evil dead is on the canvas and it's white like that, like the picture says. I'm going to glow in dark, glow in dark, glow in the dark those. Yeah, this is a 50 by 60. This is the last one, you guys. I, you know, my gosh. I'm excited about this, so I'm, I'm bummed that this is the last one. But uh, also, I really, really don't feel good. And I've had to take multiple pause breaks. You don't know it, but I do. Um, just to catch my breath and, like, breathe. But... Um, so no offense, but I'm ready to be done. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to hit the cough syrup in the bed for a little bit. Um, but no, I, this is so exciting. Look, 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 look. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> 45 colors on this one, you guys. 45. Oh, I can't even get this all in frame because this is like so big, you guys. Look, on oh, the stupid ring light. Go away. There. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. It does say the evil dead here. Mushy's gonna bling this and glow in the dark. Yeah, I'll never sing again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a crime. I apologize. <laughs> uh, what's a horror diamond painting uh, unboxing haul if I don't commit a crime in the midst of it? Um, another 60 by 50. So it does it long ways. And there's the legend. You can see a variety. This has got almost like a, a horror movie's version of a rainbow of colors. Blacks, purples, reds, oranges, grays, greens, blues. You guys, all of the colors. Oops. See the end. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it's going to turn out looking like when it's done. In theory. I would assume. Look at that. Can you look at this and realize that that is going to turn into this? That's exciting juju right there, you guys. And we've got the purple pin, purple boat, squishy, two waxes, and murder tweezers. I like that we got a variety. I want a purple. I'm, one of those purple boats is going to be one of my new go-to generic boats that I use like all the time. I use a translucent one with gold flecks in it and a white one right now, but now I got a purple one. So guess what? I'm going to be using some purple. We got our little special goodie baggie. So nice. Oh, look, it's a mimic. Anybody who's a video game player, you know what a mimic is or a D&D. &D. Um, it's a treasure chest that's actually, you go to loot it and it like bites your face off like that. <laughs> it's a straw, another straw keeper. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know what the real name is. Oh, oh, you guys, too adorable. Oh, this is like my new spirit animal. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay. If nothing else gets turned into a, a cover minder, this is this. I love you guys. I can't, I can't. I, I'm like on cute overload right here. I can't. That, that is too much. Oh, I love it. Then we got a couple stickers. It says, love yourself. That looks like um, Princess Anne. You know, she was a smoker and a drinker and wore her hair like that. And I just got done watching The Crown, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looked like uh, Princess Anne in theory. Uh, and then this is cute. It says, I've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to have to put that somewhere. Surprise sundown. Put it on the butt of his jeans or something. No, <laughs> I've done that before. I stuck a sticker on his behindy and he didn't know it was walking around the store like a buffoon. <laughs> uh, somehow I think he'd figure out that sticker was there. Let's take a look at these drills and the colors. Um, pink. Ugh! Don't like pink, but you know what? Pink is necessary. Um, if I remember my thumbnail, some pink for the rawness and, and stuff on her shoulder there. And some darks, you guys. Those are dark blue, not black. That is not 310. Do not get confused. I think this might be... No, I see some blacky blue. Yeah, those are three uh, 939s. So at least we don't have to have all that black. I mean, it's like... You can tell that the owner is a diamond painter um, themselves because she knew. She knew we cannot have, like, all these horror things and cannot have all black in them. We got, she's got to know that, like, 310 is the bane of horror painting existence. Look at that. A lot of that color, too. That must be that reddish in the background. Looks like a red orange. There's, there's some pink. Uh, don't barbify this for me. I don't want to see Barbie in here. But, no, uh, you guys, you guys, what, that was the last diamond painting. What do you think? I really want to hear what you think. Um, I know, this was a longer video, and I'm sorry, but I really felt like, from what I had been seeing and the research I did, and my personal excitement, I felt like this company needed the attention. And I... I make what videos I want to, and I say what I want, and I do what I want, because I want when I want, and I wanted to um, cover this diamond painting company. I don't know how they missed my radar, but I have not, I have been searching high and low for horror diamond paintings, couldn't, couldn't really find much more than what you normally find, like, on, on the budget and then the ones that I could find weren't really what I was looking for. They weren't really horror. They were like soft, softened horror, murky horror, cute horror. Um, but you guys, we get like some real horror here. I am 100. I know it didn't sound like I was here for it because I was reached over to the side to get more of these, but I meant it. I am here for it. I am beyond excited and thrilled. If these work out, if like we work these up and they come out even half as good as I think they're going to at the price points of these, mm, 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 mm. like I said, I think the most expensive one that I got was 50, 50 no, 60, I'm sorry, $60 for the one of the, these bigger ones. And uh, the quality seems to be there. The drills are beautiful. Um, we got all these extra goodies in these goodie pouches. And the stickers, you guys, stickers for days and a patch. But stickers for days. And, I mean, I don't know. I, this is the only one I found in any of the kits. So, like, was I a random lucky, like, hey, just put these in one of these random boxes and, and somebody's going to get a lucky surprise because love I love this. I would pick this over one of those um, turned pins, if I'm being honest. I just, where are you going to get a custom pin that looks like a bone? You're not. You, you are at Raven Diamond Art, I guess, but like, I, I don't know. You guys, I'm fangirling over here, and um, I will be crying if these don't 
work out as good as they look like they're going to. Oh, you'll hear it because I'll cry and I'll be very upset because I am so jazzed right now. Um, let's work on one together. So, uh, while I figure that out and clean up my mess, that's it for this video. I'll clean up. You don't have to stick around for that. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know this was a long one, guys. I know it was, but I really wanted to do this. I feel like we need more representation of true horror diamond painting and the diamond painting community. And Raven Diamond Art is all horror, all the time, diamond painting company. And I had never heard, I'm, how did I miss it? I don't want anyone else to miss it. So I made this long video and we went through everything and we looked at everything and we're going to work one of these up. Um, but they needed a spotlight. They needed attention, even though my spotlight is like that small, like that big, it's still what I can do. And I'm going to do what I can do, um, for stuff I believe in. And I believe we need this in the diamond, um, art space. I just do. I know I personally do, and I think you guys do too, because you're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting. Anyway, um, if you like this video, if you like these canvases, this company, let me know you saw this. I need to know that you heard this and you see them, and um, I encourage you to go check them out at Raven Diamond Art. You can check them out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, their website. Just search up Raven Diamond Art and you'll find them. Look at TikTok. They have awesome videos. So give me a thumbs up if you if you like this video, if you like this type of video, if you like Raven Diamond Art, if you want to see me work these canvases, let me know. Hit the comments below. What do we think? Which one was your favorite? Which one should I do first? Obviously, I'm going to pick that one. I can't wait for you all. I'm sorry. I'm too excited, but you can pick the next one. Um, what are your impressions? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Like, am I excited for no reason? Like, did I miss something? I don't think I did. Um, what do you think? All right, friends. Uh, thanks for coming by. If you're new here, hi. Sorry this was so long. I promise I'll try not to make it this long next time. Um, and if you're coming back. Thanks for coming back and thank you uh, for sticking it out with me so long. Go use the urination station. I know I need to. And with that, we're done here and I will see you next time. Naughty night!